Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up your X32 producer, compact, or full size to work with your um, with your DAW and record and do what you need to do. So I'm showing you a picture because of my setup, it's difficult to get to the back of my console. So right now I have plugged in a USB 2.0 right here on this slot, which is on the back of my console as well, going into my computer. And I have my speaker plugged into output one and I have a microphone plugged into input one. All right, and you'll see, check, check, hey, 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 hey. That's me talking into that microphone. And now we're gonna get set up, and this is gonna work with Mac or um, Windows. I first wanna show you guys where to get your drivers, which is gonna be important, or else you cannot record onto your computer. So first you'll wanna just search X32 drivers. Right here, the first one that comes down is the Behringer website. This will also be for M32 as well. You can find the drivers this way. And this will be for your Mac, XUF USB driver. And then here's your XUSB Windows driver for Windows, of course. Once you download this, install this, restart your computer. And then when you plug in that into that USB, your computer will recognize the, the Behringer device as a sound card, which is most important. Next thing you're going to want to do is set up your DAW. So I'm using Cubase, but this will work. As long as you guys know how to change your sound card, it's the same thing for everything. For me, it is um, going to studio, um, going to studio setup, and we go to VST audio system, and right here is my XUSB Osseo driver, which is the X32. And I can change this if I wanted to, but I'm using the X32 today, so we're gonna stay with that. All right, next you're gonna wanna create an input. And you're going to want to make sure that you, on whatever DAW that you use, you want to make sure that you create your inputs based on the inputs and outputs of the device you're using, the sound card. So for me, um, I know that F5 is the, oh, I'm sorry, it's not F5, it's F4, is the shortcut. And you'll see that I have my buses here and I've made my outputs out one, which I said I plugged my XLR into to the speaker. And output two would be the right side, but for this test, it's not necessary. You'll see that the audio device is my XUSB. And then inputs, I made a stereo in, left, right, channels one and two. One is where my mic is plugged in. Just so you guys see how the routing is being done within your DAW. You're going to want to make sure you do all these steps. Very simple on every DAW. Um, if you're using a different DAW, then just Google search how to do that. It's really quick, really simple. All right, next, we're going to come to the X32. And um, at first... You'll, you'll go to your routing page here, which on my console is on the left-hand side for the other consoles on the right. And you're going you're gonna to see that you have your inputs on your home side as local 1 through 8, 9 through 16. And you want to make sure that you have it as set as this because it's saying, hey, I'm controlling the preamp on channel 1 locally, which is the local inputs on the back. If you do something else, then um, you're not going to be controlling that input. And then this input will not end up going to your um, to your um, DAW. So you want to make sure you're just on local 1 through 8, 9 through 16. If you have a full X32 size, um, these ones over here will be already on the locals as well. I just don't have 32 inputs. So um, next, you're going to want to go out. Uh, outputs do not matter in this case. Aux outs don't matter. You're going to want to go to your card out. And I want to explain this because it's kind of confusing how Behringer has set this up. The card output, which it shows, is the USB card. The card output is talking about what inputs you're taking from your console to the output of that card. So local one through eight is saying the local one input of the console is going to go out of the X32 um, USB card and then two, three, so on and so forth. So if you had this set to AES-A or something, well, if you are not using AES-50A, then nothing's going to go outputting to that card to your DAW. It's just a single flow type of thing. I don't know why they, it's kind of backwards, but that's how they did it. And then the last thing you're going to want to do if you're using the outputs of your X32, so you have an X, uh, XLR plugged into a speaker as I do, then you're going to want to go to your XLR out. This is all within the routing page. XLR out is your last page, and you're going to want to choose card one through four or whatever outputs you're using. So what this is saying is out of that card, you're going to take an XLR out from the console go to the card and the card is then going to your DAW. And I've chosen um, output one that I'm plugged into. And as long as I have card one through four, now it's gonna play, it's gonna play back over here out of my speakers when I, when I press play. So um, next is to get your microphone plugged in. 
I plugged it into input one, as you see, and you're gonna wanna make sure you turn your gain up to an appropriate volume. It starts off, you'll see the gain is here, just right above the channel strip. It started off really low, and you'll see as I talk into the mic, it's so low, it might not even record. You can see my levels here. So make sure you gain that up appropriately. Um, each mic is, it has a different gain structure. This one around here is fine for this test. Hey, 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 as you can see. Um, and now next, like I said, we'll make um, a track input. I called it mic one. And I know it's hard to see because it's not really, uh, there it is, focusing in now. So here's my input is mono in one. It's going to my stereo out, which would be up here. But what's important is that mono in one means I've chosen XLR one on the X32. And you'll see when I record here, which I'll do now. Test, test, one, two, one, two. And you see there's a waveform. And then we'll play it back and it's gonna come out of card one through four, which I plugged in my speakers as one is going to the left side, which is right here. And if you remember, we did all of our routing within the DAW. And just as a refresher, so you guys can see the process, out of my output bus, output one is the left side. So I made outputs one and two on the X32, my left and right. And now we're gonna press play and we'll hear it. Test, test, one, two, one, two. So that's how you do a quick setup of your X32 um, going into your DAW. And if you wanna record all the channels, well, you're gonna have to make 32 channel tracks, make sure that each one is going to the appropriate input. So if I made another track, and just so you guys can see, I wanna make sure you get all the information you need. Um, it's gonna ask me audio inputs, mono in one. No, the next one will be mono in two. And so on and so forth, I'll name it, you know, whatever, add the track. Now you'll see here, it just popped up. And on the left-hand side right there, it says mono in two, meaning that that is XLR two. And if you're recording a whole band, you do all 32 of these, um, and you'll be set up and ready to go. And then also for your um, mix buses, auxes, and all that stuff, if you need to do that for your um, for your band, your musicians, they each need a different mix. Well, then make some outputs in your DAW, and then you would go back to that um, routing page in the DAW that I showed you, and just make sure you make you know more outputs, which you can see here. Make some more outputs here, add some buses, and then you can make them into different mixes from different XLR ports, and then boom, you come out of the XLRs from the X32, and you got yourself some different mixes. That's the quick way to set this up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, uh, please subscribe. Thank you.